Let's say you have a collection of baseball cards and a friend of yours has a collection of baseball cards. You want to know what cards both of you have in common. Well, since each collection of baseball cards represents a set, we can do this mathematically using a set operation called intersection. The symbol that we use to represent intersection is a downward U. So if we have two sets set A and set B. Now these sets could have any elements that you can imagine in them. We define their intersection which is written as A downward U symbol B to be a set which has in it all X such that X is an element of set A and X is an element of set B. Now remember this X here is a placeholder for elements. So what this is saying is that the intersection of two sets is a set consisting of all those elements that are in set A and also in set B. Meaning the intersection has those elements that are common to both sets we are taking the intersection of. Let's have an example. Let's say we have a set K whose elements are the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. And we have another set called L. The elements of L are the numbers 1, 5, 7, and 9. Then the intersection of K and L, written as K downward U symbol L, is a set consisting of the numbers 1, 5, and 7. Why? Well, 1, 5, and 7 are exactly those elements that appear in both K and L. And intersection by definition has the elements that are in common between the sets that we are taking the intersection of. Let's look at a few more examples. Let's say we have a set A whose elements are the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And we have a set B whose elements are the numbers 6, 12, and 18. I ask, what is the intersection of the two sets A and B? Well, the intersection is going to include the common elements, so let's see what's in common. 2 is an element of set A. Is 2 an element of set B? No. 4 is an element of set A. Is 4 an element of set B? No. 6 is an element of set A. Is 6 an element of set B? Yes then 6 is an element of the intersection. 8 is an element of set A. Is 8 an element of set B? No. 10 is an element of set A. Is 10 an element of set B? No. Then 6 remains the only element in the intersection of these two sets. Now notice one thing here. You can actually, if you're checking it one by one, if an element appears in both sets, it's best to just begin with a smaller set, right? If I can check 6, 12, and 18, whether they appear in set A, I get the exact same result, and I don't have to check many more elements. All right, let's look at a new example. We're going to form a set P which has in it the letters E, M, P, T, Y. And we're going to form another set, call it Q, and this is a set consisting the letters A, B, C, D, E, 
and M. I want to find a set R and set R is the set found by taking the intersection of P and Q. Then set R is a set consisting of those elements that are in common between the sets P and Q. Let's go back to P and Q and look at it. We notice E is an element of P and E is also an element of Q. M is an element of P and M is also an element of Q. And none of the other letters are common among the two uh, sets. So the set R which is equal to the intersection of P and Q is going to have in it the elements E and M. Now while we're at it, let's form another set. Okay, call it set T and this is a set which has in it the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's look for the intersection of P and T. Well, the intersection has in it those elements that are in common between the two sets we're taking the intersection of. Let's look at P and T. The set P has in it only the letters E, M, P, T, Y, while the set T has in it numbers only. So the intersection of these two sets is going to have nothing in it because there's nothing in common. Another way to write this is with a zero with a slash sign through it and this represents an empty set. Alright, let's look at one last example. Let's say we have a set S whose elements are the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we have a, another set called T and T is an empty set. What is the intersection of S and T then? Well the intersection again has the elements that are in common between S and T. Since T is an empty set, the intersection is also empty because set T which is empty has no elements in common with set S.